also provides same and even more. In two separate interviews, I spoke with Lai Mohammed, the National Publicity Secretary for the All Progressives Congress, on the one hand, and the Lagos State Chairman of the PDP, on the second. I started by asking them what they make of the PDP Governors Forum that's promising a better roadmap into the future, away from the past. I think um, what came out of the PDP's governor is the level of desperation and the level of despondency on the part of these uh, governors. One would have expected something much more elevating to come out from an interactive session you know, between PDP governors and the media. I would have expected them to address issues uh, germane and irrelevant you know, to the polity, but rather they dwelled on just one person, you know, that's General Muhammad Buhari. It shows clearly how terrified they are of the person of General Buhari. And already, unwittingly, they have considered defeat because you remember one of the governors, I think it must be Ali Babangida of Niger State, came out to say the North will be shortchanged with the election of General Buhari because he's going to spend only one term. In other words, they've accepted that he's going to win. Now, their problem now is how long is he going to stay there? But much more seriously is the fact that um, the the ticket of General Buhari has brought out the worst in all these governors. How so? Well, you see, the kind of vitrolics, the kind of indecent and intemperate language hauled at General Muhammad Buhari and the APC has so much belittled all of them. One would have expected that at a forum like that, they will come and sell their party. Not one of them was able to do so. There are insinuations that because Buhari is old, as the PDP call it, they say he's going to come with old ideas and Nigerians should not listen to the ideas being sold to them by the APC. How do you react to this? Who are the people getting that impression? Is the PDP because they are terrified of their own past. It's the PDP because they are ashamed of their present. At 72, General Bali is not too old. He has the mental and physical alertness to run this country. I have worked closely with him. And I know that he has both the, capa he has the capacity, both intellectually and physically, to run this country. To a reasonable extent, they were able to capture the essence of convincing the people that Mr. President has done well in the last five, six years uh, when he had held this way as the president of the country, uh, maybe in the area of agriculture, in the area of uh, aviation. Many people have not even seen so much that are done in that area. Go to every airport in the country. New ones are being built. You will see transformation. You will see improvement. You will see new ones coming up. Old terminals are uh, turning old uh, terminals and new ones are being built to represent the international uh, uh, side section of the airport and it goes from Lagos to Portaco to Kaduna to Sokotu and Calabar and everywhere. Every area is being touched. In the educational sector you will realize that he has done well in, by establishing Almanjuri school which were not there before now. He has been able to build additional universities which are well equipped. The hospitals today in Nigeria are able to perform operations people now used to go abroad to do, like the open heart surgery, the, the kidney transplant, uh, liver transplant. They are being done here now because all the hospitals 
the major hospitals are well equipped to do them. And they also responded on questions bordering on the nation that 16 years democratic rule of the PDP was a waste of time. Their fear is that under their watch, Nigeria has been so, so divided along ethnic and religious lines. Their fear is that under their watch, every institution they've thought they've destroyed and they do not want any exposure. They are afraid that whichever government comes in will find out with how bad it they've ruined the country. But we want to assure them that for us, the fu future is more important than the past for us. We would not wage a war of retribution or vengeance. We will take it as part of, you know, nation building. You have the good, we have the bad. But we intend that from day one we are in government, there will be a new code of conduct for all public officials, a new code of conduct that will pay it down to every Nigerian. This roadmap, no matter how slow it is, it will get there. A number of power stations are being established. You can carry out your research or investigation, go from state to state. In Lagos alone, up to additional 15 power stations have been established that I know. There may be many others hidden in one place or the other. Similarly, throughout the country. And the federal government has already done the privatization. Uh, companies are now handling the Genco and the Disco. And it's a question of time. At the same time, the government has realized that some of them could not easily meet up with the uh, financial requirement to meet up with this. So they are helping. The central bank has been involved, and the federal government is not hesitating in helping these companies to continue to produce more power. The area of gas supply is a serious issue and is being addressed. The problem is that some of the gas pipelines are rusty, old, and they need to be replaced. By the time all these things are properly put in place, definitely it will open up the economy. Because if you have power, you will spend less. Your gains can be translated into creating more jobs. Interesting views there. We're going on a short break now. When we return on Roadmap, where does the road lead for the Youth Democratic Party? Another guest joins me on the show to make sense out of this whole political mix. We'll map that out for you as well. Stay with us. <laughs> 